Hi guys, um, I want to make a video on the next plan on of my side effects. I don't know, everybody won't have these side effects, but if you're looking into getting it, these are just my side effects. Everybody's different, um, but yeah. Um, I don't know if you can see the little dot right there on my arm. That's where I had the implant on. Implant? The next plan on, excuse me. The next plan on implanted and everything seemed fine when I got it implanted it didn't hurt it didn't bruise like some other people said it would bruise up and like I tell you it's different for everybody so um I've had it since March right now it's May I've had it about a month and a half maybe a little more two months I don't know but I've had it for the for since March and I've had really bad headaches they they've gotten worse than migraines I've had them ongoing for well that's what I had for like the first three weeks ongoing headaches I would take medicine, they wouldn't go away. I would take migraine pills, they would not go away. Um, Tylenol, Advil, Motrin, everything that's for a painkiller or for headaches or whatever, I would take them, they would not go away. And um, I've had a lot of mood changes. I get mad for everything. By the time my husband comes home, I'm mad. I'm so sorry for him. But I come, he comes home and I'm already mad. I get frustrated with my kids because I have two kids. Um, on top of that, I was taking depression pills, antidepressants for postpartum depression. So that kind of helps it kind of doesn't um but yeah um another thing is i've got i've never been i've never well how do i say this to y'all i've been a person that doesn't really have acne that really doesn't get pimples i get them every now and then like one time in a year since I had the next plan on implanted in my arm, I've got an acne and it's left like little spots like that. I have another one right here. I don't know if y'all could see my forehead, but look all these little dots and right here. All these other little black dots are my, my moles. I have a lot of moles. And it's made it's been making me break out. I do not put lotion on my face. My face I've had normal skin type and i never have i put lotion on my face and i don't do it now and i didn't do it before so i really didn't have acne and when i had my period i had a little sometimes i had a little pimple every now and then like on the sides of my face but it's never really been bad and another thing that i had a problem with the next plan on is I got it I got it when I was on my period. I got it I think it was the first day of my period, the first period I had after I had my baby. And um ever since then I was bleeding a day yes, a day no, a day yes, a day no. I would bleed one day and I wouldn't bleed the other and it went on till about three weeks ago. It stopped. And I haven't had a period then. I haven't been cramping. Nothing like that. I've gained 20 pounds since I've had my baby. I started off at 175 pounds when I had my baby. And I am about 190 pounds now. 195. And it's been horrible. Another thing is this is this is why i want to get it taken out because the thing is the doctors told me that i would have all these other side effects but never this side effect until now 
They told me it could be stress, it could be thyroid, or it could be anemia. I'm not anemic. I don't have thyroid. I had stress before. My hair didn't fall out, but I had stress. And now, look, my hair, it's, it's, it's falling out. This is all of my hair. This is all of it. This is all of it. More than half of my hair has fallen out. That's bad. I've seen people that are like, if they were bald right here, I have bald spots already in my head. And where I got it implant, I got the, the next plan on implanted, they still tell me, well, it could be this, it could be that. No. I didn't have this problem before. I don't... I Honestly, I didn't. I didn't have this problem until I got the, the next plan on. And if they would have told me, you know, you're going to lose your hair, that was going to be one of the side effects, I wouldn't have got the next plan on implanted. Um, now they tell me... They don't know if it's going to grow back. They they can't. They tell me, yeah, it's a hormone. It's a hormone that makes your, your hair fall out. But we don't know if it's going to grow back. And I told them, why didn't y'all tell me this before I got it? Y'all told me these other side effects, but y'all didn't tell me this one. They're like, because it doesn't happen to most people. But, um, still, you could tell your patients, oh, but these are other side effects that can happen. They gave me a list of side effects that were weight gain, mood changes, um, headaches, uh, bleeding, and other stuff. But they didn't tell me that I was going to lose my hair. Um, and they still told me earlier. Because I called earlier. And they told me, well, what other birth control do you want to use? And I was like, well, if you're going to change my birth control to something that doesn't make my hair fall out, it will be good. They're like, but you got to pay for it. I was like, but y'all didn't tell me I was going to have a side effect. So why should I have to pay for it when I only have a month, about a month and a half, maybe two months with it, with my implant on or next plan on? Um, and they're like, well, if you want to get it removed, it's a hundred and something dollars. They're like, and... I guess if you're not going to pay a thousand and something for another birth control, then you can just use condoms. And I was like, um, I have a three month old baby. She'll be four months here in about two days. I don't want to come out pregnant again. Not right now. Um, that's why I got the implant on. Or the next plan on implanted. If they were going to tell me. They told me. The side effects of the next plan on. Some of them. They didn't tell me all the side effects. To the IUD. To the pill. The shot. They didn't tell me that. Or, or to the. What is that little thing that goes into your. Into your tubes. That blocks the sperm. I don't know what it's called. But um, they didn't tell me that. Um, I can't run my fingers through my hair without it falling out. And it's not two, three hairs that fall out. It's um, pieces, chunks that fall out of my head. I am literally going bald. And I don't know if I should get it removed or not. Uh, the My biggest fear is 
coming out pregnant again. Right after I get it removed. They also told me, well, it could be pregnancy. Well, no, it can't be pregnancy. Because I know every pregnancy is different, but I'm not pregnant. And if I was pregnant, I don't think my hair, all of my hair was falling out. I'm not all worried about the acne because... I know some point in my life I had to have acne or something, but what really does worry me is my hair. I look like when people are taking um, chemotherapy, that their hair starts to fall out. I'm not on chemotherapy, and my hair's falling out. I stressed before I had my baby, before I had my kids, my hair wasn't falling out this bad. After I had my baby, my hair wasn't falling out this bad. It started falling out after I got the next planon implanted in my arm. They told me, check if it's not broken. Or if you could feel it. Yeah. Yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it right where they inserted it. I can feel how they inserted it. Or when they, when they inserted it, I felt it right there and then it feels the same. It's either they didn't insert it right or something. But it looks like I'm going to have to get it removed. Because this is not, this is not where I want to be. This is not, look, right here. Right here. I don't know if y'all can see my bald spot. Probably not. But, this is not, that's not what I want to have. Like, I lift up my hair and look, you see all this right here? Where my hair is thin now already? Right here in the front? Look, I've always had these little baby hairs. Right here. Right here, I've had baby hairs. But look, all this... I never had it. All this white right here where you can see my scalp. That wasn't showing. My hair was black. Dark black. And it is dark black. The pieces I still have. But I didn't. You couldn't see my scalp. I had thick beautiful hair. Now I have thin hair. I put a rubber band or a hair tight in my hair. And maybe my hair is about this thin. If I straighten it, it's thinner. I used to straighten my hair and it used to be thick and pretty. Now it's just thin. And it looks it looks horrible. A lot of people tell me use those shampoos that don't make your hair fall out. I've tried it. They don't work. I've tried different brands. They don't work. It's that damn next plan on that's making my hair fall out. And it just makes me mad that they don't tell you, oh, you're going to lose your hair. That's what makes me mad is that they don't tell you that you can lose your hair. And this is why I'm making the video telling you girls that this could happen to you. Maybe not to everybody. Maybe not everybody will lose all of their hair. Or maybe your hair won't fall out as much as mine. But the majority of people I've seen that have the next plan on. And that I've, made, I've seen reviews online. And on Facebook and stuff that they post. Everybody that I know that has the next plan on. Tell me that they've gotten it removed because their hair was falling out. Not because of weight gain or because they lost weight or because they weren't so, they, they weren't, they didn't get horny no more or whatever they tell you. Because that's one of the side effects that they tell you that you might not be 
you might not want sex no more or as much as you did before so I don't know um I guess let me know if y'all have the IUD and if that doesn't make your hair fall out or if y'all have the shot the pill um or any other kind of birth control besides condoms because that's what they tell me condoms are the best birth control or no sex condoms don't have side effects but pregnancy is one that you could come up but other than that i want to know what other what other birth control i can i can get mm.